traditional <clears throat> Red Dead Online Sunday stream. Actually, it's uh, part 9 in a series where I'm leveling from level 1 to level 100 and doing it only on streams. So, I, I actually log in every day to complete a one daily challenge, exactly one, you know, to keep the streak going, but like all, all the rest I'm doing on streams. And anyway, today I decided to focus on earning experience uh, a little bit faster. So on the background, I'm gonna be grinding a uh, trader role and the uh, rest will be about earning experience. We'll test one of the old methods. I don't know if it, if it still works, it should, but who knows. And um, speaking by the way about daily challenges, let's see what do we have. Five carcasses, okay. Uh, easy. Distance. Telegram mission, we're gonna complete telegram mission. Turtles, turtles. Let's find a turtle. Actually, later. First, let us let me check if my trader business is still running. No, it's not. I need to make a complete resupply mission. So let's go. Anyway, hello and welcome to everyone who joined. Hope you're having a good Sunday. And let's continue journey. And and maybe during this resupply mission I will also find a turtle because you know we are in, in Lagra and there are a lot of turtles. Teenage mutant ninja turtles. I have 2.5 gold on my daily challenges, so raw no boss as well. It's because you have a good uh, streak. I, I think I have a 16 days streak, so I already have double uh, double gold for daily challenges and it, it's really nice. Twisted Trading, hello. X23 says, how are you cat and how is your Sunday? Uh, good, thank you. Thank you for asking. Go to Suppliers Homestead, I'm not quite sure. I hope it's gonna be about stealing stealing a wagon because this way you can get 20 materials so let's go yeah there is a wagon we're gonna steal it nice Okay. Actually, let's get additional experience by executing because you know when you uh, make execution, you actually get experience for execution and experience for shooting. Like, look, oh no, no execution this time. It was not even a kill. Happy St. Patrick Day. Oh, I didn't know that today is a St. Patrick Day. Happy St. Patrick to everyone who's celebrating. Should I buy Moonshiner Naturalist or Prestigious Bounty Hunter roll next? Well, it's a, it's a choice between Prestigious Bounty Hunter and Moonshiner, in my opinion, and it depends. Like, if you, if you like... Uh, bounty hunter roll then buy prestigious bounty hunter roll because it makes bounty hunter roll better if you don't really i mean if you if you're looking for some uh like almost afk grind you know more relaxed grind because moonshiner is the closest to passive income that we can get in red dead online so but I, I personally like to buy a prestigious bounty hunter as soon as possible because in my opinion without this upgrade regular bounty hunter role is pretty lame because there are like regular bounty missions are not good 
and uh, legendary bounty missions are, are interesting, but they have this stupid 48 minutes cooldown. Execution with a shotgun is a br brutal for sure. You know what the best execution is? With a bow. It, it's so cool. It really looks great. <laughs> okay, you can just let me go. But all, uh, you know what, actually all executions are pretty brutal. You can do even uh, executions with sniper rifle. And there we go. I will receive not only experience for a trader role, something that I really need, but also 20 materials. And now we're gonna be testing old, uh, you know, fast leveling method. Yeah, you see 20 units of materials added. So here we go. Have a plenty of materials. Takovakin says, Hi Cat, always good to see you back in the saddle. Yeah, I stream a little bit more often nowadays because of the series. Uh, by the way, yeah, so to level up faster, what I need is actually some extra ammo, some like special ammo, not regular. So let's buy express ammo. Unfortunately, I cannot buy high velocity yet, but for repeaters, rifles and uh, revolvers, let's buy express ammo. Yeah because I will be getting more experience. I never tried it with a sniper rifle, come to think of it. Well, because like it's not it's not the most obvious usage of a sniper rifle to make uh, executions in the melee range, but there are executions with sniper rifles. And they also look pretty cool. Is it worth it express ammunition? Yeah, for sure. Like, first of all, you get much more damage with express ammo. Like, much more. And uh, second thing why you need it. For each kill with not regular ammo, you get five addition, additional experience points. You might say, well, it's, well, not, not much, but... It's actually quite a lot, especially when you kill in a lot of enemies. And by the way, it's something that I'm gonna do. Oh, I need to find a turtle. Let's go and search for a turtle. I think I see one. No? I thought I saw a turtle. No, but it's an alligator. Which is better, high velocity or express? Express. Um, I tested it and interestingly enough Express is just is just better plus there is a oh there we go turtles nice landing uh, there is a old bug with high velocity ammo like for some reason sometimes if you will hit enemy legs or arms bullet will just go through and do no damage probably because you know high velocity ammo goes through enemies you can hit up to four enemies with one shot if they you know stay be one uh behind another it's not gonna happen too often but like you will hit two enemies with one shot quite often in intense fights but there is a problem as well like sometimes there will be no damage it's, it's like an old bug i'm not even sure if it's a bug i think it is uh, but it was never fixed oh i need to buy here we go collectible item
Hello guys, thanks by the way to everyone who already placed a like. I saw that there were like 20 likes before I even started the stream and one dislike. I'm not sure why. On the other hand, I mean, if it's fine to place a like before stream even begins, why not place a dislike, right? Same logic, so why not? Bratik Martin says, evening cat, evening. What level is cat now? 38. So in two levels uh, from now, I will be also able to purchase a high velocity ammo as well. 142 viewers and 60 likes. So yeah, thanks to everyone who placed a like and as always, thanks to everyone who supports me on YouTube, um, Patreon and YouTube Super Chat. You know what, let's go and test pretty old uh, leveling up method uh, with a lot of experience. Reyesi says, I'm sure those are bots. You mean who? Who plays uh, dislikes before the stream? Uh, Ronobo says, I hit level 50 yesterday, what should I buy now? Mm. I don't remember on which level Carcano is unlocked, uh, but I think around level 50, so you definitely have to buy Carcano rifle. Like, it's, it's just... It's the only must-have weapon if you think about it. Yeah, Carcano is level 50, says X23. So, well, the answer is simple. Carcano. My uncle's name is Carl, says Tony. He is 89 years old. Oh, it's interesting because uh, obviously it's a coincidence, but my horse name is also Carl. Colin says, hi cat, hope you're doing good today. What's your favorite side mission in Red Dead Redemption 2 story? Depends. Like, uh, if we're talking about favorite mission from, you know, story point of view, I like the mission where, it's not a mission, it's like a series of missions uh, that we complete for Strauss, Strauss Zelnik, <laughs> okay, not Leopold Strauss, uh, so from, you know, storytelling perspective. If we're talking about gameplay, I actually like the robbery in Valentine, ba bank robbery in Valentine, because it, you know, the robbery in Valentine kind of feel i'm not quite sure if it's uh, optional mission or necessary i don't remember i think you can skip it uh, but from you know overall vibe of this mission it's a like a real robbery i want to see such robberies in red dead online i wanted to see more of such robberies in red dead redemption 2 why my camp is so far Oh, random encounter. Nice. Let's go and check it. Oh, it's a trap. No, 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 no. You're not gonna fool me, lady. I know that it's a... It's an ambush. So, let's replace... Uh, I don't like uh, the camp location. Let's replace it. Okay, now that's better. Uh, anyway, I will donate few carcasses to creeps and we'll go to Thief's Landing and we'll start a relatively fast experience grind. Not even relatively fast experience grind. Twisted Trading says, that would be nice, but we need something to spend money and gold on too. 
Well, yeah, that, you know, that's the problem with Red Dead Online. It's not only that there are not enough uh, cool missions, like robberies, bank heist and stuff. The, there is also another part of the problem. There are not enough content, cool content, to spend your money on. So uh, there is no reason to grind because of that. Cat, what roles do you have now? Right now I have Trader, I have Bounty Hunter and Prestigious Bounty Hunter. So I have uh, 3 out of 6 roles, which is, you know, not that bad for level 38. Is it me or there is no sound? Oh, guys, let me know if there is a sound. I mean, um, like, no sound at all or no game sound? Not quite sure if it was a clean kill, probably not, but... I mean, there should be sound. If there were no sound, I'm pro I guess uh, viewers would have t told me already. Game sound is there, says Scorpion. So yeah, apparently... Apparently it should be fine. Okay, guys, thanks. Let him know that sound is here. <clears throat> okay, let's go deliver and uh, and we will go to Thief's Landing. It's time to start grinding. It's time to go and get some experience. I'm obviously not gonna be grinding experience for the whole stream, but I want to test if this method still works. Cat, did you claim Obey 8 in uh, GTA Online? No, no, I don't like this car, so I did not. What happened in this month in the next days? Nothing happens. The uh, only thing that happens is actually uh, in two days from now on next Tuesday all your coupons, if you have any, you know, bonus coupons, will expire. They expire uh, on 19th of March. So if you have any, like, I've made a video about it, but I will repeat. So. Uh, you you go to benefits, you check offers and rewards, and here you will see coupons. I don't have any coupons because I started playing only recently and received no coupons yet. And by the way, this coupon for change appearance is never expiring. But all other coupons that you have, and you have some if you've been playing for quite some time, will expire. So just watch out. But that's it. By the way, let's switch... Ability cards. Eye for an eye. I can unlock eye for an eye already. I can unlock uh, strange medicine. I would need it for this leveling method because I will equip two health regeneration abilities and we'll start leveling them up. Actually, since I'm level 40 almost, I think it's time to start making first builds. Uh, is this 0 to hero or level 0 to 100? Well, basically it's the same. Plus, uh, there is like no level 0 in Red Dead Online technically, but yeah, I'm just, you know, I created a new character and I'm leveling it to level 100. Cat, what do you think about Red M? Will you try it? I will, but don't know when. When we'll be in mood. Okay, so... The method is pretty simple. You go here, to Thief's Landing, and there are usually Del Lobos standing around. Here and there, but for some reason now I don't see any Del Lobos. I don't see anyone. Something is wrong. My method is not working <laughs> already. <laughs> So... Is this a Del Lobo? Yeah, here we go. 
What? Anyway, the method is like super simple. You just go here and kill all the lobos you see. Usually there are more of them. You you should try to make kills like with hip fire and stuff to receive more experience. Stay. Okay, but that should but there should be more enemies. I don't know why they're not here. Uh, new players feel like they cannot get anywhere in the game, but honestly, that was the funniest part. Yeah. That's why I'm restarting, you know, creating the new characters every year. So, anyway, when you kill all the enemies, the lobos, or maybe they just didn't appear like now, you, fo you cross this bridge, like here, stay, and then go back, and they should respawn. But let's see, maybe, maybe Rockstar fixed this method. I don't know why would they do it, but who knows, maybe they did. Cat, they know you are trying to shoot them and they run away. Maybe, but like, it's always you. You go to Thieves Landing and here you will find two the Lobos standing, but no one is here. Bratik Ma Martin is member for 16 months. Thank you, Bratik. Okay, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what is going on. But there should be more enemies around than than only five. Maybe there is some there is some issue with this lobby. Looks like there is some issue with this lobby. Sometimes, you, you know, you need to switch lobby. I will actually try to do it now. Usually it helps. Because, like, only five enemies in Thieves Landing is not... Is not okay. It's not something that should, should be happening. Yeah, let's switch lobby. Sometimes it happens. But maybe Rockstar somehow fixed uh, this method. But let's try to switch lobby. I would subscribe, but I spent all my money on gold bars. Mm. Cool story. <laughs> Mini Blue says, GG, I like them for practice with Kirkano. Yeah, it's actually one of the fastest methods to level up and also you practice uh, free aim. Don't forget to loot those bodies. If you want to level, up, earn a lot of experience, you don't want to waste time on looting bodies. I mean, usually you want loot bodies because you can get not only money, but also treasure maps, collectible items, tonics, stuff like that. But when you want to level up fast, you don't loot bodies. Okay, so... Do you recommend buying rolls to claim the roll related coupons before they expire? Yeah, yeah, if you have like any discount on a roll, like for example, now you have bounty hunter and collector, buy trader, buy trader, if you have a discount on it. Which is better gun? Semi-automatic pistol or navy revolver? Semi-automatic pistol is better by far. But there is an issue with pistols. Uh, they have limited ammo capacity. So you carry twice less ammo. Oh, okay guys, so you see? Here we go. Everything works fine. So if this method is not working, just switch lobby. And, and now, here we go. Just start killing enemies there should be a lot of them so watch out and don't worry you don't even usually lose honor level because they are bandits the lobos are bandits and by killing them you only get experience 
you get experience for free roam for um, some you know special ammo you get experience for shooting from hip you get experience for execution by the way let me show you execution oh no it was not execution so you get a lot of different experience points again some issue with uh, with spawns I mean there should be more enemies in fifth landing I, I'm not quite sure if this dude is a the lobo but I still gonna kill him maybe rocks are fixed it oh no you see here we go the, the lobo is here So basically you just go here and kill them all as as fast as you can uh, things to remember using sniper rifle is good because you get additional five experience points for a distance kill headshots are good because you get additional experience for headshot so uh, obviously hip fire don't forget to hip fire. Okay, I have a witness here. So apparently I killed someone who was not a Del Lobo. And uh, it's usually not good because witnesses can... Call, call, uh, call low man. Hip fire in Red Dead Online looks cool. Uh, it's not only looks cool, you know. The thing about hip fire, let me show you, by the way. It, it has an extremely fast fire rate. I tested it. Uh, if you if you're using hip fire, especially with revolver, your fire rate is so much higher. So you see, going back, killing everyone again. Can you show the map really quickly? I will after I will kill this. Oh no. Witness. Don't let witnesses leave. You don't want witnesses to run away because uh, they will call police and police is super annoying because you don't get any experience for killing police officers or lowmans in Red Dead Online so you will have to fight with them but will oh no not again so always focus on killing witnesses Usually like when you when you kill the lobos nobody care But sometimes you will kill enemies that are not the lobos like, And then if some NPC will see it he might call for Law enforcement Okay, we good <clears throat> Actually this way you will see how fast I will uh, reach level 40 I will go around and see if, uh, you know, spawns are working, if enemies are resetting, respawning. So I think I killed uh, most of them. Just remember, don't leave any witnesses.
Oh, brutal execution. Even, you know, even Carbine Repeater has pretty brutal executions. Actually, uh, spawn rate is extremely high. They uh, keep spawning and spawning. So I think like this way you can easily make just simply by killing them with different weapons. Uh, you can make around 20,000 experience per hour. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Wow, they keep spawning and spawning. Like, really? That's a lot of experience. I see. <laughs> uh, by the way, when you kill someone who is riding a horse, you get additional experience points. Or if you kill them while you are riding a horse. But... I still think that it's not worth it because sometimes horse will get scared because of shooting. You will fall down and will die. Oh no! Oh no no no! For some reason I pressed uh, the wrong button and instead of healing myself, died. But don't worry, you, you lose nothing. When you die you can just go back to, to grinding. So you see, I all I all already uh, reached level 39, and uh, I assume in like 15 minutes I will be level 40. What was the preferred loadout? Uh, depends for what. But I mean, any uh, loadout with Carcano rifle, sharpshooter, uh, will be good. You see how many enemies we have here. And for each I'm getting 5 experience points for kill. Uh, 20 experience points for free aim. 5 experience points for headshot, if it's a headshot. 5 experience points for express or high velocity ammo. Actually any ammo except for, you know, regular. So, actually, uh, I think it's easy 20,000 experience points per hour, plus, you know, it's, uh, it's a practice, free aim practice. Oh no, witness, I should not let him go. Stay witness. No, 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 no. Don't go away. Foof. Nice. A lot of enemies. Like, really, they are spawning like crazy. I, I really need to drink tonics. I don't remember so many enemies spawning here. Probably because I'm in a private lobby, but spawn rate is just insane. Wow. Uh, okay, at least I know for sure that this method is working. I will actually, 
I will actually test how much experience exactly you can make with this method after stream. You know, because I don't think that it's too interesting to do on a stream. But this method is definitely working and if you do it in a private lobby it's even better because look, like, you see how many enemies there are. Like enormous amount. The only thing is, like, uh, you will at some point run out of express ammo. So, and if you already have high velocity from high velocity ammo as well. So you will have to go to your camp, which you should place nearby. And, uh, you know, refuel ammo. Then go back. I will test it, guys. I, I really think that it's, like, one of the best experience making methods in the game and you can earn much more than let's say with collector roll but obviously you know the problems with this method are also obvious because you don't get any ex uh, you don't get any money you don't get any gold you don't get you actually spend gold and not gold but you spend money you will need tonics you will need uh, ammo And also do not forget that you can uh, get different awards. Why trader role is so hard to level up? I don't know, but trader is literally the slowest role to level up. <clears throat> it's not something bad actually, I kind of like it. I don't like uh, when you level up roles like too fast. Like for example, collector role can be leveled up in few hours i i once made a stream on which uh there was a double experience actually for selling collectible items uh, but i said like can i it was the question of the stream like can i level up trader not trader collector from level one to level 20 in three hours and you know what i leveled it up in less than two hours so the answer is yes and like no problem at all. Wow, that are that's enormous amount of enemies. How uh, why there are so many enemies? I don't really understand it. Like usually they don't spawn in such in such numbers. Like really a, a lot of experience. I don't know how much. Okay, guys. After after this, uh, after I will finish this wave. Whoa! whoa oh, oh, they will finish me because of, there are a lot of. It's like call to arms. Yeah, it's literally like call to arms. Obviously, uh, uh, there are no snipers, n no like tanks, no dudes with a machete. But still, uh, there are so many enemies that you can get kills. You can get killed. Especially if you know, like me, low level who don't have good ability cards yet. For example, leveled up Strange Medicine, leveled up uh, Fool Me Once, leveled up Cold Blooded. I don't know, Eye for an Eye or also helpful here. The, for me, easiest role to level up is Naturalist. I mean, Naturalist is like relatively easy to level up but it's not it's not super fast check it out i hit level 40 already so it's i will test it off the stream uh but i'm pretty sure that it's around twenty thousand per hour we're talking about here twenty thousand experience points
They keep spawning and spawning. I don't know. It, uh, it feels wrong. So much. It's unreal. I don't even know how much experience I'm getting per mi per minute. Definitely a lot. Oh, I run I run out of express ammo actually for my sniper rifle. So let's switch. Okay, let me go. I don't even want to kill you anymore. They will kill me now. That's sick. I really like heap fire while dual wielding. It feels uh, so, so, so much like Western. Like how many enemies are here? Wow. Look at this. Level 40. Oops, I killed this. Of course, I did not want to. Yeah, so, uh, guys. This method is just... It works. But, as we see at the beginning of the stream, sometimes lobbies will be bugged. Uh, for some reason, and they will not spawn. Enemies will not spawn. You know, just like in some lobbies, animals don't spawn after, let's say, legendary bounty mission or something. Wow. I'm out of ammo, like special ammo for my sniper rifle. I'm out of everything anyway let's run away <laughs> let's run away you see so i'm level 40 uh time to buy some high velocity ammo and time to buy some and time to grind some trader but as you can see this method works and uh i will test it in details but like it's it's extremely extremely fast leveling let's buy some high velocity ammo so i will have it there sure isn't a spawn problem now yeah in the oh it's level 41 i forgot that it's not level 40 you unlock it but level 41 how do you get tokens? Uh, it's a roll tokens. You simply each time you level up any roll, you receive one roll token. But you know the thing is, don't care about these roll tokens. They are like you will always have more tokens that you want to spend. It's not like it's not like money and gold. And even money and gold, you will have more money in gold and red than online that you can spend. But with roll tokens. Whoops, I missed this shot. You will definitely have more uh, roll tokens that you need. It's it's a stupid mechanic in Red Dead Online. I have no idea why it exists. Absolutely pointless. Nelson says, Hello, cat. Uh, what can you tell about a posse? Like, how members get, get money from... Trader deliveries. Oh, from uh, like uh, if you play with your friends, getting money from trader deliveries is uh, like extremely, extremely good way to level them up. Because like if you if you have your wagon, big wagon, f ready to make a delivery, you just make a delivery and invite all your friends. Create a posse and then you make a delivery. Anyway you will receive $500 for short uh, distance delivery and everyone in your posse, even if he's not gonna be around but will be in the same lobby, will receive half of that price for doing nothing. 
$250 and it's even more for long distance delivery so oh nice there uh, this dude again He's again visiting me. Let's let's record it. Mm -hmm. Give it. Wait a second. Here you go. <laughs> you was kind, huh? I'll be seeing you, friend. Again and again, I'm sure. Oh, you like you. Well. Okay, we uh it's the second time I saw this dude. <laughs> Buying these rewards selectively with tokens do be quite unnecessary. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, by the way, new treasure map. Let me actually complete a trader roll daily challenge because, like, let me check. What am I? Oh, wrong button, sorry. Uh, what am I? Like, level 4 in the trader roll? Yeah, level 4, almost level 5. So let's let's complete a daily challenge and make a delivery. You think you have treasure four treasure maps now? I think I have five treasure maps now, but let's check. Yeah, I have five. And you know what? After we will get materials for creeps, we, I will go and complete these treasure maps just to get more gold and money. Okay, so here we go. And yeah, do not ignore treasure maps. Like, I, I need a little bit of money because I, I do want to upgrade Painted Black Ability Card. You want to have it level 3. Petter says, I know Cat is against it, but is somebody still buying gold? I'm not against it, I'm just saying that it's you pointless. There is no point from any... Uh, any perspective I mean like if you buy in gold because you do need gold in Red Dead Online do not just play a little bit and pretty soon you will have gold more than you need and like uh, the beginning is the most interesting part and if you buy in gold to support Rockstar you know oh Rockstar you made such a good game maybe if I will buy gold you will continue not continue but start supporting it well i'm sorry it just not how it works they will not so just that's my point i'm, I'm not against it i'm just saying that unfortunately in a current state there is literally no reason for players to buy gold unfortunately because you know rockstar is not making as much money as they could and not uh, invest in this game at all so, you know, I know uh, 224 views and 131 like. Thanks to everyone who placed a like, by the way. So, I need... Oh, I, oh it's, it's not to donate five carcasses. It's to donate five carcasses within 10 minutes. We need two more carcasses. Let's go. I, I, I thought that this daily challenge is simply to uh, donate five carcasses, but no, there is a timer. So let's quickly find few more, few more carcasses, few more big animals. 
I will, uh, by the way, I'm not quite sure if, it, if it's necessary to donate big animals. Maybe like uh, rabbits will do fine as well. For this daily, I, I don't remember. Oh, nice. Well, that's, that's a nice kill. 50 gold bars for an outfit. Some people just cannot resist. Are we talking about Arthur Morgan's outfit? I mean, really, some... Uh, so, the question is, uh, is, is it, like, are there any players ever who saw this outfit and and thought, like, oh, I need this outfit so badly that I will go and purchase gold with real-life money? Because it's not the best outfit. And uh, I understand when people have more gold that they can spend. To be honest, after you purchase all rolls, you don't need gold at all. But you're still gonna be earning it. So at some point, and, and, and really soon, you will have more gold that you need. And let's say someone has already a few hundred gold bars and uh, never had a, a chance to purchase Outlaw Pass in which uh, this... Uh, Outfit was available But you know Let's try let's try this fox or something And anyway when you have like a lot of gold no 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 not this You might spend 50 gold bars for Arthur Morgan outfit, but like are there really people who buy gold uh, Simply to purchase this overpriced and not the best looking outfit I don't think so, but it's my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, so do we have? Yeah, these the uh, medium-sized animals also count, and I think small-sized animals as well. Uh, Achilles is saying, "Cat, do you think of what would be cool if you could trade, sell goods with other players? Rockstar will not allow it, like never." So. Because they are afraid that people will be trading, like transferring money between different accounts. They will not allow it. Actually, I'm almost level... I'm almost level 5. So let's wait a little bit and then I will just purchase a medium sized wagon and deliver 50 goods instead of 25 so and now let's go and actually find the treasures what do we have dakota river diablo ridge kamasa river um i don't like east East Watson probably the closest to my location, right? That is a good campsite for hunting cougars. Yeah. And 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 you know back in the day, back in beta, there was a location here in tall trees where you can go and spawn infin infinite amount of like you can go there, kill cougar, get a carcass, then ride away a little bit, then go back and there will be another cougar. But I think Rockstar fixed it or broke it because last time I tried to do it, you should, you know, just out of curiosity, cougar were not spawning there. But maybe because, you know, it's uh, because public lobbies are broken. I tried to do it in the public lobby. Olga says, I have Arthur's outfit and I've never worn it. It's okay, nothing more. Yeah, the same. But, uh, but I mean, I I got it from Outlaw Pass. Uh, so it's not like I bought it. Get, uh, how can I get a private lobby like you? Just Google <clears throat> uh, Red Dead Online private lobby startup meta. I think it's uh, the easiest way to do it. Hotland Overflow best camp in the game. Uh, 
debatable. I think there are three best camp locations if we're talking about hunting. Here, Great Plains. Here, Little Creek River. And here, Hotlands. In Hotland are overflow. And they are equally good for hunting. Like a lot of animals, uh, open area, so it's easy to hunt. No trees, because you know, hunting animals when there are trees is super annoying. Uh, simply because, like, you will be shooting trees all the time. And even if you uh, shoot some leaves, uh, you know, they are bulletproof. So you're not going to be able to kill an animal. So it's just annoying. It's better to hunt somewhere where there is a big open area. Can you get banned for doing treasure map glitches? I, I mean, I don't think so, because... For a few reasons. First of all, Rockstar don't care. Like, just like, it's probably the main reason. Unfortunately, they don't care. They don't really ban anyone. And they don't care to such degree that they don't even fix Isabella treasure map glitch. Uh, so they should have fixed it long time ago. They never did. You know why? Because they don't care. It's the first reason. Second reason is more interesting. Like how Rockstar even detects people who are using glitches. They don't have like any good detection system. How they do it? Or cheats on PC. They simply have a script that sees how, uh, checks how much gold or money or experience you have, you earn per hour or per day. And if this amount is extremely high, like, I don't know, 20 or 30 gold bars per hour, you might get banned. It used to work like that always. Uh, but, like, from Isabella gl Glitch, you probably not gonna make like insane amount of gold per hour like I don't think you can get 30 oh no resupply required so it's I don't know I I never did that glitch I I decided not to test it even uh, but I don't actually think that Rockstar will ever ban anyone use it, who uses this gl Oh no, there is a bear! Oh no, 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 no! No! Oof. Oh, he cries. So nice. Twisted Trading says, exactly like trying to shoot through trees where the snow box spawns. Yeah, trees, bushes, even high grass. When there is a high grass in Red Dead Online, you cannot shoot through it. It's, it's so stupid. It's bulletproof. Harriet cries too. Yeah, she's nearby. She wanted this bear to kill me. In a pretty brutal way. And now she is crying because it never happened. Does ability cards work at the same time or one at a time? Uh, they all ability cards that you equip, they work at the same time and they actually stack up with each other. So let's say there are two different ability cards for extra damage, right? You will get effect from the both of them. Hmm. Again, I cannot find the treasure, but maybe I should be. 
I should watch more carefully here because here I was attacked by a bear. Cannot find it. Hmm, I don't know. I haven't seen it. Haven't seen it yet. I don't want to use uh, interactive map. I, I actually prefer finding... Uh, oh, maybe here? No, it's a bear. Kind of dead bear, I would even say. Worst woman in Red Dead Online for me. For, for, for all of us. Harriet. Almost for all of us. Because I know that there is a... Some sort of a fan club. But for most players, Harriet is the most annoying character in this game. Oops, I'm sorry. Little squirrel or whatever. Okay. Uh, is there a little cave there? Oh, yeah, there is. I just don't remember where exactly. But there is a cave. I think here. Yeah. Th th that's where it is. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. So, taking a treasure, how much do we get? 1.35, nice, $92. We're almost ready to unlock. Uh, which is closer from here? Valentine or Strawberry? I think actually Strawberry might be a little bit... Yeah, Valentine. Valentine is closer, yeah. Let's go to uh, Valentine. Because I need to go back to, to the camp and complete resupply mission. Then I think I will have level 5 in a trader role. We'll purchase medium delivery wagon. And uh, make finally we'll make a medium sized delivery. Plati says, why don't you try Red Dead? Red M, Red Dead Online is dead. It's dead for you, like... Uh, what do you mean, dead? I play it, some people play it. <laughs> if GTA Online has drift racers, Red Dead Online should have horse drifting competition. Oh, don't even start about uh, horse races in Red Dead Online. They're super lame from any point of view. Rockstar failed heavily. It's, it's you know what? It's a thing that was in Red Dead Online from the very beginning. And most things that were in Red Dead Online from the very beginning, from beta days, are just complete fails. Stranger missions, they're just simply bad and not interesting. Uh, horse races, like, it's not something that people wanted to see. Like a lot of stuff. Rockstar should have, you know, made interesting, good content much faster. How much you get for every sale in a trader role? For big, full big uh, delivery wagon, so 100 goods, you get $500 for a short distance delivery, for local delivery, and $625 for uh, long distance delivery. Okay, what do we... Oh, nice, nice, nice. It's a dying animal. It's, it's been shot with uh, this arrow. Okay, mercy kill. Oops. And there we go. Nice. Here we go. I tried horse racing once and never looked back. Waste of time. Which is which is interesting. They are so poorly designed that 
Because, you know, because of the stupid payout structure in Red Dead Online, which gives you amount of money and gold in each mission uh, based on the time you spend in this mission. But anyway, because of this stupid system, even with triple gold, horse races are not worth it. Just because you will quite often complete horse race in like one or two minutes only. Less than three minutes means no gold, almost no money, uh, no experience, and even triple payout is not helping. So, like, it's not even the problem of horse races itself, it's a bigger problem. It's a problem with Red Dead Online and this stupid payout structure. Some people say, oh, you just hate it. No, it's just like, it's the stupidest thing you can think of to pay money, gold, and experience based on the time you've spent in a mission. Like, if you want uh, to make sure that people are not using different glitches, just fix these glitches. Like, there is no reason why Etta Doyle mission was not fixed yet. It's, it's been broken since the very beginning. Rockstar made few updates after this mission was added, like many updates actually, made multiple patches, you know what, Etta Doyle was never fixed. It just, like, makes no sense. Let's go. Oh, Blackwater, it's not the best mission because I think in Blackwater I will have to steal uh, bags. Cat, is special health cure worth it for PvP? Yes, for sure, it's uh, like the best uh, health tonic in the game. It's extremely powerful. You, It's better, like 50% better than any tonic that you can buy, so yeah, it's worth it. It's not worth it, it's a must-have. Yeah, here I will have to steal um, a bag. Let's kill them in style. I like that for some reason I'm still in stealth. Lol. Whoops. Oh, 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 brutal, brutal execution. And now we are just running away. Even with all materials gathering, that's the trick, actually. You don't need to gather any materials. You can buy all materials for most tonics from Madame Nazar. One dollar per each ingredient. So, like... That's the thing. I mean, when it was not an option, yeah, it was debatable, because it, it takes quite some time to gather materials for special health cure, but you can literally just buy them it's super fast. Amberlita says, bow execution is my favorite, yeah. Oh no, I need, I need to lose law. Annoying. They haven't fixed yet stable glitch. They never did. Most of the time you can ride up beside the bag and get it and just ride away. Yeah, but I like killing NPCs with the bow. Uh oh, uh oh. Law enforcements. Let's hide. Maybe the. By, by the way, sometimes we can find uh, some collectible items here. Maybe I will find them now. No. What do you think of Telegram missions? Uh, actually, thank you for reminding me about them because today there is a daily challenge to complete a Telegram mission, and that's what I'm do. What I'm gonna do. Uh, but my opinion is. Telegram missions are kind of weird because they have very little replayability in my opinion 
Uh, people don't actually like them because they have forced uh, difficulty. So you complete them on normal, then on uh, hard, and then on ruthless, but you cannot go back to normal difficulty, right? You can only complete it on ruthless, and on ruthless, on, on console, there will be a forced uh, free aim. So anyway, they're not popular among players for a few reasons, but overall these missions are kind of fun. Oh, by the way, I need to buy I need to buy a medium trader wagon first. So let's buy it. Yes, take a look. So it's in equipment. Oh no. I need two hundred and twenty-five dollars. Oh, not two hundred, just twenty-five dollars to buy it. All right, you know where to find me. Yeah, wish you could change difficulty levels, just like with legendary bound. Just like why, why we cannot change difficulty levels in, uh, and choose different difficulty levels in uh, uh, in legendary bounties makes no sense i mean if some people want to complete on a lower difficulty and receive le a smaller payout why not anyway since we were talking about telegram missions let's go and complete some telegram mission i mean i already as you can see i completed one horse deal uh let's you know let's complete it again to unlock ruthless difficulty Go to Blackwater and catch a few surgeon and sell them to butcher. Well, it's definitely not the best money making method. Like at all. Plus I don't really like fishing. Plus I don't even have a fishing rod. I actually quite often see uh, players uh, who say that Oh, fishing is such a good money-making method. No, it's not. It's, it's it's terrible. But if you like fishing, just go and fish. Like, no problem. Who cares how, how profitable that is. But just uh, don't say that it's so good. Oh, I forgot to buy high-velocity ammo, by the way. Let's equip uh, another ability card. Let's equip something. Let's... Let's buy something. Oh, I, I'm not gonna buy anything. So let's just equip sharpshooter. We will get some good amount of experience from here as well. So you might consider it, uh, you know, leveling up method. Unfortunately, you cannot just kill these enemies, you know, and restart mission again and again. Here is why. There is a built-in protection against such type of grind in Red Dead Online. Uh, so after you kill 50 anim enemies, you stop receiving additional experience for kills. So you receive only basic 5 experience points, you get experience for uh, special ammo, but that's it. You don't get experience for free aim, you don't get experience for uh, executions, for heap fire, for stuff like that. There are quite a lot of enemies, I, I would say like 25 or something. And we it looks like we killed them all, so I guess now it's time to 
to loot them. Uh, I, I need to receive a little higher payout. What are you doing now? Now I'm doing telegram mission for two reasons. Uh, first of all, there is a daily challenge to do a telegram mission. And second, I need uh, $25 to purchase medium delivery wagon. I think I will earn them. I, I, I'm sure I will earn them by completing this mission. For mission itself and looting NPCs. Oops. Will you buy me the Moonshiner roll? No, I will not. Go search for some another sugar daddy. Red Dead Online sugar daddy. It's a person who buys you Moonshiner roll. Guys, I cannot level up naturalist troll. Is that normal? Uh, it's normal because you are not selling, uh, you're not selling samples. You see, naturalist troll, you don't get experience for sedating animals or taking samples. You get experience for selling samples to Harriet. So unless uh, you will go and sell samples, you will not level up naturalist troll at all. So just, you know. When I sell samples, it's not giving me experience. It's not showing that you received experience. Yes. Like, usually, you know, when you receive an experience, you see a message. Not a message, but information on your screen. Like, now I'm looting and it shows how much money I got from, from looting. And uh, same with experience. You, you kill someone, you get experience. But anyway... You receive experience for selling samples, but just don't see it. You can manually check how much experience you received by after, you know, after selling, just choose progress. Go here, roles, then choose naturalist. Where is naturalist? Here. And you see experience. Zero out of 2000 points because I don't have this role yet. Anyway, if you will do this, you will see that you actually receive experience for selling uh, samples but again it's another broken thing that was broken always i think but rocks are never cared about fixing it i would prefer to level up naturalist roll three times over trader roll once yeah leveling up trader roll is not fast oh oh i'm almost dead Actually, this mechanic on PC is completely broken because you literally don't have to do anything. You just press one button and that's it. And and it's done. Like, it's not like it, it's super challenging activity on console. Not on console, but when you have a controller. But on PC, it's like completely broken. Cat, will you buy naturalist at all for this character? Lol. I think I will. My plan is to level up to level 100 and buy all the rolls. Plus, you know, at some point you still have to spend uh, gold on something. And uh, why not? And plus, the thing about naturalist roll is that you need to buy a naturalist roll to unlock wilderness camp and wilderness camp is extremely useful so yeah i will buy it for sure is painted black fool me once winning streak or sharpshooter a good ability card load out yeah for some situations Obviously, you need a sniper rifle, but yeah, it is. It is good. Is it your new horse? No, it's a, it's a white Arabian horse. It's only uh, in a mission, in a telegram mission. 
I have 5 star legendary bounty at that duel. If you cannot, I open it. You can get decent amount of bucks and gold bars. Well, I also have at the doyle. But thanks for for offering. And there we go. So anyway, from this point, they usually stop chasing you. If I do a telegram mission, will if I do a telegram mission, will delete all my progress. Undead Nightmare so says, I, I have no idea what you mean. No, it will not delete all your progress. And yeah, guys, I as always forgot to start a timer. Let's pick up some creeping time just to get higher payout and make sure that I will get $21. I think I should receive $21, but we'll see. Why it's so hard for other people to level up naturally stroll? Because... It's also not the easiest role to level up, but the good thing is you need to reach only level 5 to unlock the best things about this role. Wilderness camp and uh, legendary animal missions. And so basically one, once you buy it, you already get level 1. So you need to earn like 8000 experience points only and you can do it with, in few hours. I have a guide on my channel go check it like how to level up naturally stroll fast three different working methods like it's it's really easy to level up till level five would you use sharpshooter or iron lun for sniper sharpshooter is much better oh here we go some random encounter nice i have money so now we're gonna do delivery what kind of mission is this let's try to complete it in stealth <laughs> maybe this is the horse <laughs> that brothers needed to start the business yeah and that's why they will never start the business because okay nice stealth is already broken what kind of mission is that i mean i thought that i'm fighting some bandits but there is a witness search camp for valuables okay okay here we go it's a crime. I'm actually doing some crime. Oh no. I, I'm a I'm a I'm a bandit now. Nice. So high stakes robberies are in Red Dead Online. I should have killed that witness. It's Capitale Cat. I hope it's not. Okay. Oh there we go. There we go, some valuables now. We found them. Well, you balls, I found them. Nice, I'm an outlaw now. I don't remember such event actually. I, I, like, what, what what will I receive as a reward? Like nothing, or capitale, or what? How come stealth in that game and San Andreas be much better than GTA Red Dead Online? Well, like, stealth in GTA Online is just completely terrible. Is 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 bad. Uh, stealth in Red Dead Online is better, but still, you know, it works properly only in some missions. Like, not in all missions. In some missions, stealth is just don't work. Like, enemies will see you no matter what. It's broken. In some missions, it works weirdly. Oh, actually, I need to deliver it here. Maybe there. Oh, they're a collectible item. 
I will get fifteen dollars. Well, you know, it's not that bad because I was there anyway. Camp robbed. Nice. Robberies I oh two dollars seventy five cents. What a nice reward. It was completely worth it. Like come on guys, don't tell me that I'm hating on Rockstar. Like what is the point to make an event that is like relatively good event, but then pay uh players such pathetic amount two dollars 33 experience points like why why it's so bad why it's so stupid like literally some who at, at rockstar said like oh it's a great idea let's you know what let's play let's pay people nothing ha 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 let's pay them nothing and they will love our game. Let's make them spend time on activities and pay them pathetically low amount of money. Pathetically. Ha 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 ha. Genius. You are genius, someone said. Like, oh. And you know there is another employee who's like, oh, I have a different idea. Maybe we should make some, you know, content that people are looking for. I don't know, heists, robberies, good payouts, things to spend money on, you know, uh, not no stupid mechanics like, like payout pay based on the time you spend and stuff like that. And then this employee is just goes through the window from Rockstar Corporation because it's like a stupidest idea ever. They're like, no, it's not gonna work. What are you talking about? Heist and robberies, properties. Good payout, what are you, stupid? Go work for some other company. We don't need you here. <laughs> we will make like activities that pay $2.75 and we'll make, uh, you know, weapon price $1,000. For Mauser pistol because it was a weapon price for Mauser pistol in beta and everyone will be happy we will make billions ha <laughs> I mean like like really it just makes no sense cat you have a very creepy Batman love yeah Uh, but you know what? I actually think that this mechanic, they might, you know, stop using the stupid payout structure in GTA 6 online. I actually, I think it's quite possible because if you will take a look at recent updates, uh, if you can call it updates to GTA Online, you will see that in most missions payout structure is different. It's basically like you complete different missions and then receive a payout. Like for example, last uh, clocking bell raid. You complete a setup, you complete heist, you receive 500,000. Doesn't matter how much time you've spent on it. Oh, here we go, another, another achievement. Cat, do you have any thoughts on Stellar Blade? No, not a single thought. So a little bit more gold. Mm. Let's make a medium distance delivery. You know what, let's let's make a long distance delivery. Uh, actually, it's not worth it. Or maybe worth it, I don't know. I, I will get more experience for, for long distance. So let's make long distance. Random event. Well, it's probably an event where you have to protect a camp. Because we are 
close to I, I heard a gunshot and we are close to the camp location so I think it's this event another by the way event where your payout is pathetic like absolutely pointless Do you know how to get the luxury items from the Porcher's collection? N no. Will you return the old outlaw passes to anyone? I? <laughs> I, I wish I, I wish I could return all the outlaw passes, but no. It's not something that I can do. Uh, if you're asking, like, will Rockstar return this, all the low passes, then the question is, I don't know. And to be honest, I have no idea why they haven't done it yet. Because, like, it's just a... It's another, like, pretty easy uh, money-making method for them. To bring back all the outlaw passes, so more new players will buy gold bars to purchase outlaw passes and, and stuff like that but no no cat been holding out on us with these outlaw passes yeah it's it's just it's all because of me cat please return your old outlaw passes to me <laughs> I, w I will do my best i will try uh what's your go to ability card loadout cat uh, by go to you mean which ability cards i'm using now i'm trying to create a like a P pve loadout oh nice treasure hunter treasure hunter another treasure map nice i will not even buy him uh not kill him yeah i will buy from a map from him no likes no outlaw passes yeah guys i'm sorry so cat has all the passes yeah i i like a i'm i'm a grinch of red dead online oh it's a different step back step back step back a little bit a little bit a little bit back ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> is he dead yes <laughs> you see i'm not only stealing outlaw passes and not giving them to players but i'm also doing such things yeah, actually, Thrill Seeker is a very rare uh, random encounter, I agree. I don't remember this random encounter for a seeing this random encounter for a long time. But you know what? The old man, this homeless uh, who visit your camp, it's another random encounter that last time I saw back in beta. I'm not kidding. I... I, I I think I never even saw it on my PC account, on my main PC account. He just wanted a photo. Yeah, but what you can expect from a person who steals all the outlaw passes from players and not giving them any. Like, wh what, what do you expect? Obviously, I had to do that. Uh, maybe this year we at least get Halloween Pass 1. I mean, it's another interesting topic, because, like, if you think about it, why they brought out Halloween Pass 2 for three years in a row? Like, does it make any sense to you? Like, why? If, I mean, if they wanted to bring back Halloween Pass 1, I think they would have done it, like, last year.
Cat, do you think they don't return outlaw passes to maintain fear of missing out for GTA 6? I actually, okay, I don't think that pretty much anything that Rockstar is doing with Red Dead Online is related to GTA 6. I, I don't think that that decision to not bring back outlaw passes has anything to do with outlaw, uh, with GTA 6. So no, they have some weird reasons to do that. Okay, you know what, since we're talking about this, let's make a poll. Let's see what you all guys think. Start a poll. Should cat return outlaw passes to Red Dead Online? Yes. No. Capitale. Give give your give your votes. Because I, I'm, I'm not even sure if I should do it, right? <laughs> I'd love to see the horse masks return. And the thing is, you know, horse masks were only available in Outlaw Passes, if I remember correctly. Actually, actually, I'm almost sure that uh, there was never any horse masks outside of Outlaw Passes. Come on, cat, do it for the people. I think Rockstar is busy with GTA 6. Well, they obviously busy with GTA 6, but you know, to return all the outlaw passes, it would require like how much? 30 minutes? It's like, it's literally no effort required to do this. Last horse horse mask was a Halloween Pass 1, I think. I'm not sure if uh, there were horse masks in Halloween Pass 1, in any Halloween Pass. Definitely there were no horse masks in Halloween Pass 2, and I don't remember about the first one. But maybe, you know, it, it would make sense if there were horse masks in it. Where does Cat hide his <laughs> stash of low passes? Well, that's a question. Do people still get coupons because I haven't got any since 2022? Yeah, the, uh, people still get coupons. For example, I had a lot of coupons on uh, my Xbox accounts. And yeah, by the way, if you also have some coupons, uh, keep in mind that they all will be removed from the game. They will expire uh, on Tuesday. So just go and claim these coupons. Oh, there, yeah. Nice, another, another award unlocked. Oh, by the way, I don't need to. And the last one. I don't see him. Oh, here. There were some uh, horse masks in Halloween Pass 1, says Angry Aussie. Well, maybe. I don't. I just don't remember. Twisted Trading. Thank you for super chatting. 
Uh, Twisted Trading says, GTA fans think should take warning for how Rockstar has updated Red Dead Online. Maybe the games are getting so complicated that it is limited in what they can do for online play. Well, you know, it's a, it's a point of view that I've seen. Like, that it's just like... People say, well, it's just nothing they can do about this game. Maybe there are issues with code or maybe there are some other reasons, like, you know, technical uh, problems, why they cannot add good content. But no, it's, it's, it's not the case because take a look at RP servers, right? There are a lot of content, good content, what, content that people want to see and uh, it works. So, I don't think that it's the reason here. Uh, and, and, and also, like, they, they can add some mechanics like naturalist role, but they cannot add some, something that people actually want. Uh, I also, so, I actually don't think that, you know, lack of content in Red Dead Online has anything to do with overall game's uh, complicity. I just think it's like there is other reason that we don't know. Eliminate L says, from my point of view, the best thing if they made all the Utlobuses into new roles such as Bounty and Collector and you would get rewards for, from them. I'm afraid they will not do it, because like, I mean, if they will bring back Outlaw Passes, they would do it only to make some additional profit, like, to make more money. And if you will add uh, Outlaw Pass as a part of a role, like, you probably not gonna make any money off it as a company. So I don't expect it, but I actually like the idea. Uh, I mean, it would be cool if there was some, um, like, more interesting progression system in each role than just simply 20 levels that in most roles you can unlock pretty fast. Oh, oh, by the way, Bison. Let's get a lot of some materials from them. Like, two is enough. Uh, Vakan says, do you think Rockstar Games will look at Red Dead Online again after the release of GTA 6? No. Because, you know, after release of GTA 6, Rockstar will be working on GTA 6. On GTA 6 Online, on GTA 6 for PC, on basically fixing GTA 6 because, like, there will be... A probably some issues on release as well. Not important one, but they will work on GTA 6 for many years from now. So I don't think it has anything to do with GTA 6. Cat return them, them outlaw passes. I don't know if people think that it's it's worth it. Uh, I'm, that's why I'm making this poll. Undead Nightmare says, I want a new role like outlaw role. Unfortunately, Rockstar decided, you know, to stop updating Red Dead Online at all, so do not expect new roles or something. Uh, Karu UK says, if Red Dead keeps being one of the most selling games, they haven't saturated the market yet. They can let it stew while they work on other things. Well, yeah. Blessed Sun says, Hey baby cat, with GTA 6 coming soon, you think there is any chance Rockstar will implement dedicated servers? No, no, everyone who says that there will be dedicated servers for GTA 6 online is just delusional. And uh, here is why. First of all, you know why GTA Online is so profitable? It's because amount of money that they need to spend on keep the game going is extremely low they don't have de they have dedicated servers but still they store data some data there uh, so mostly game uses peer-to-peer -peer connection extremely cheap extremely bad 
but the most importantly extremely cheap as i already said that's why gta online makes so much money and will continue making so much money and actually red dead online is profitable as well just because amount of money they need to spend to keep the game going is not significant because of peer to peer no way they will sacrifice this money making method for gta online gta 6 online is the first uh, reason second reason is even more interesting uh, a few years ago after gta online uh, red dead online was already abandoned rockstar and take two invested a lot of money into making new patterns uh, for peer-to-peer -peer connection system they literally invested a lot of money into research and uh, they like uh, how to say it in english they just get a pattern so now think about it what is the point of investing money and making new technology e for games that already use peer-to-peer -peer connection and doing fine i will tell you it was made for gta 6 online no chance to see uh, dedicated servers there. Cat, you need to introduce dedicated servers <laughs> along with bringing back outlaw passes. Yeah, my bad, sorry. Uh, anyway, guys, let's go. Oh, my, I do need to clean this weapon. I agree with your take on servers. It's very unfortunate. Yeah, they will not, there will be no dedicated servers. I actually have few more reasons to think this way, but these two are the strongest. Let's level up to level 42 extremely fast. Let's see how fast we can do it. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Only look at this. Whoops. Oh, no, 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 no. Witness. Whoa. Whoa, that's a lot of enemies. I think I will have to run away. Maximum dishonor. How do you like that? That's the witness, apparently. No. because I'm playing in a private lobby but the amount of enemies is just enormous wow and I can loot them all time for dynamite yeah dynamite arrow would be uh, nice very useful in this mission nice headshot my cat you can you can hear my cat screaming nice headshot nice now feed me why am i not getting experience uh, at some point I stopped receiving experience and it's weird because I'm fighting the Lobos here 
Oh, it's a it's a fence guy. Like it's a Del Lobos, right? I kill him and get no experience. Look. I think it's bugged. Time to run away. Wait, I will kill a witness. Yeah, I'm not getting experience. It's weird. Meow. Ah, here we go. Witness. Witness was killed. I have a very dark joke about killing a witness and uh, one company that makes airplanes. If you know, you know. <laughs> I'm not gonna, <laughs> not gonna make this joke too much of a dark humor. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, your cat is doing uh, going to die if he doesn't get food. Well, he's he's gonna be fine. Don't worry. He's not even that hungry. I, 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 I was feeding him right before starting the stream. And it's been like less than two hours. Private lobbies in general have their own bugs, such as no credit for a lot of things. Yeah, probably probably because I'm in a private lobby. I will have to test it on Xbox in regular lobby, this method, instead of doing it in uh, on PC. By the way, what if I will come back? Will I start receiving experience or not? Let, let's try it. <laughs> he's not hungry. He's adding his bot to bring back out Lopases. You with holding experience for kills now. Mm, where is the Lobo? Is I don't see. Oh, now I uh, now I get experience. And now I don't. No, I actually do. I have a theory that actually sometimes when you get too much experience, like too fast, you stop receiving it. Yeah, I still do receive experience. I think I killed them all. I mean, even even killing them from uh, from a horse. While riding is super easy. It's also nice shooting practice. And yeah, you see I get special ammo, free aim, bonus, sometimes headshot, kill itself, death rider. There we go. They just keep spawning. Uh, 
and there we go. Witnesses. Wow. Well, this method is definitely working. What what can I say? Tested it twice. I will obviously need to test it on Xbox in just uh, private lobbies, but yeah, sometimes there are some weird bugs like no enemies spawning or no experience for kills. Okay, time to run away because What does last chance XP message mean? I have no idea. I mean, uh, I quite often receive... Maybe... Okay, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna give you any, like, thoughts. Uh, because I, I, I don't know. Like, Death Rider is when you kill uh, while mounted. There is another... Uh, extra experience for killing someone who who is mounted. And what is last chance gets? I don't know. Last chance is a kill with the last bullet. But I mean, when you use rolling block rifle, you every your bullet is a last bullet. Like, But maybe it's like when you're using something that has more than one bullet, for example, I don't know, repeater or revolver. I mean, it would make sense, right, to get to get this achievement. Well, like, and you, uh, let's say you have five bullets in carbine repeater, and if you kill with the last bullet, you get this. Uh, it's not an achievement; it's just an extra experience. Kirkano is clip fed so it counts. Maybe I, I don't I, I'm not quite sure about that. It's like it's not the one that you get like too often. Let's go and search for treasure while trader is uh, like working. Let's go find some treasure map. Um Dakota Dakota, let's go to Dakota River Bend. You, your carbine needs a cleaning cat. I don't even use it, so. So, I think... Yeah, let's just go there. Actually, I, I guess I, I will travel to Valentine. It will be... It will be faster. The thing is, if you, if you execute someone with a weapon... Uh, you get insane amount of experience. So let's say you use a repeater, any repeater with express ammo. You get five experience for kill itself, five experience for ex uh, for special ammo, ten experience for execution, ten experience for hip fire. Because when you execute in someone, you're not aiming, so it's a hip fire, and twenty experience for free aim if you if you use free aim so you got like enormous amount of experience like how much is that 50 for each kill eliminate l finish yellow mission it gives 200 for each mission no it doesn't it's not giving you 200 for each mission Equestrian. For those of you who asked about the best PvP cards, my favorites are Painted Black, Fool Me Once, Never Without One, and Iron Lun or Peak Condition. I don't like Iron Lun here, to be honest, but overall, nice ability cards. Fifty experience for hip hip head with auto aim. No way. You're not gonna get fifty experience for headshot. Like for uh, hip fire kill, you get ten extra experience. For headshot five. For kill itself five. For special armor five. Th that's it. 
if you if you use an auto aim you're not gonna get 50 Are you considering call to arms with subscribers if uh, we get any call to arms bonus soon? Yeah, wh why not? I already did call to arms with uh, with subscribers back in the day, but like uh, only one dude showed up. But actually, we had a, it was a fun call to arms. Oh, okay, so it should be somewhere here. Let's go back. I thought maybe it's uh, somewhere around waterfall, but no, it's, it's uh, maybe in that. Let's go. Let's go to the other side of the river. Let's go. Oh, here we go. Oh, what a what a stylish landing! Have you seen it? That was stylish. By the way, thanks to everyone who placed a like, and to everyone who's still watching, and obviously to everyone who supports my channel via super chat, uh, YouTube membership, or Patreon. By the way, guys, let me know please how many viewers and likes there are. So because you know I I kind of don't want to. I'll tab because it might break the game. Not the game, but the stream. Let's find another treasure map. I don't remember where Kalumet Rav Ravine R is. 179 viewers, 190 likes. Oh, it's here. It's, it's YPT. So, actually not too far away. I will just fast travel from Valentine, obviously. Do you think if we do another hashtag, Rockstar will care? Obviously, no. I mean, previous... Uh, uh, they didn't care about previous one. I mean, actually, when, when they posted uh, this like message to Red Dead Online players that they are moving resources to GTA 6. It became pretty obvious that they either completely abandoning Red Dead Online forever and like that's it, or they waiting for something. Like, I don't know, next gen version of Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, but in any way, no hashtags cannot change that. They deleted like post on the hashtag. Yeah, they did. Okay, we need resupply, right? Let's go. No, let, let's get the map first and then we will go back and resupply. Maybe there are some collectibles now. Yeah, Arthur is saying hi. Hello. Okay, says Troll. Del Lobos don't spawn during the rain and snow. Actually, I think I saw Del Lobos during snow. So I'm not quite sure about that. And here we go. Really. 
fast uh, treasure chest. 206 likes and 182 watching. Great. Thanks to everyone who placed the like. So, oh, 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 let's go back to camp. Complete resupply mission. You see, I'm already level 42. Yeah, that was a lucky treasure chest, I agree. Mm, let's go to camp. Daniel M says, Hey cat, haven't been able to catch a lot of these streams, I assume. Glad to uh, to catch one. Yeah, I usually stream on Sunday. I try to stream on Sunday. Oh no, we're not running out of supplies. We run out of materials. That's worse. Equestrian says, I, like I said before, earlier, I would love to be able to have five differently uh, loadouts on my ability cards. Yeah, that would be, would be nice. For different situations, because, you know, sometimes, uh, like, y y you are in a free room, you have uh, some PvE loadout, and you are, you get attacked by griefers. Like, but you don't have appropriate lo ability card loadout. You can switch weapon, but you cannot switch ability cards. Cat, do you think Dan Hauser continued control over some IP rights after leaving and blood money was Rockstar attempt to add content and failed? Uh, I, I, I'm not sure how, like, uh, Dan Hauser having any IP rights has anything to do with Blood Money update. But as for the question about IP rights, we don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a weird story, but there are no details about it. Why he left the company... Uh, oh no, what if I... Leave? Oh no, again I felt my shot. At least, at least kill someone. At least someone. Okay. At least some. At least some kill. Maybe we will find out uh, details someday. It's really interesting, actually, why he left the company. Like, uh, what are conditions? What what kind of deal they have with Rockstar? Jan says, hope that next event will be for collector role. This one is disappointing. This one is disappointing for sure. And as for collector role, I'm almost sure that next one will be for collector role. Uh, on the other hand, you know what? I was sure that this one will be co for collector role. But still. Most likely next month, April, will be with bonuses, discounts, and extra payouts for collector roll. Dan Hauser probably has a lot of take two stock and can just do whatever he wants now. Well, I also don't think that, you know, he's a. Uh, uh, not a wealthy person. Let's say it, say it like this. Yeah, it's basically. I I think he, uh, you know, when when quitting, he received a. First of all, he had uh, some stock uh, for sure, and uh, when quitting, he also received some good retirement check. But still, you know, details of why he left the company. Oh, it, it would be really interesting to find these details. Dan Hauser got replaced by Cat. Yeah, you know when I when I took all these outlaw passes. That's why he's holding out an outlaw passes. Yeah. Dan Hauser was against it, and you know I had to do something about him. He was against this.
last month was double payout on bounty hunter and they cannot allow themselves to do two good months in a row yeah actually uh, you know what rockstar loves to make one oh, why why am i failing this easy shot again that's a two star uh rockstar loves to mix good month bad month good uh, and and even back back in the day when we had not monthly but weekly events it was pretty much always like that like good monthly event bad monthly event not monthly weekly event and i don't really remember two good weekly events in a row i ruined the belt quality this month is awesome um i don't know not sure about that oh by the way since we're talking about uh there was some like a green pants or something for completing a blood money contract this week But I'm still not gonna do it. Not gonna. I don't care about green pants. Okay, now actually, my cat is pretty serious about this. He's uh, jumped on a table and he looks like uh, he will begin destroying stuff pretty soon. He's in a mood, you know, feed me. He basically tells me, feed me or I will destroy something maybe everything so i guess I will, I will have to go and feed him stream sniper cat yeah how is your other cat doing great oh i completed another daily challenge uh, without even noticing that there is a daily challenge. Yep. Unfortunately, no three star and it may be here. Is this three star? I hope it will oh i'm using uh, uh no i'm using express not high velocity express can ruin belt quality as well if i will hit the body uh hey does discount still change on every tuesday no now <laughs> welcome back after a few years i assume if you're asking this question you i mean last time you probably played somewhere in 2021 Anyway, instead of weekly events when uh, discounts and bonuses change every Tuesday, now we have monthly events when discounts and bonuses change usually on the first Tuesday of a month. Usually. Not always, but you know, on a monthly basis. On the other hand, uh, bonus is actually better on average than uh, bonuses we had on uh, in weekly events. So, like, we get better bonuses, but less often. It's bugged that if you have an animal on your horse, it will count as perfect, but not all the time. Yeah, actually, uh, it's pretty much, I think it's pretty much always counts as perfect for this daily challenge. If you, if you, if you're talking about daily challenges. Oh, nice. Now we, we can do a resupply mission. That worth playing. Count. Let's try to steal, uh, supplies now and just run away. Let's try this different method.
let's just hit and run. Let's see if it will work it. I mean, I prefer uh, resupply missions where you have to steal a wagon and deliver a wagon because it gives you 20 materials, but sometimes you get this. Okay, it's a little bit different. I'm not quite sure if I will manage to hit and run. Where is the uh, supplies? Are they on the roof? Yeah, they are on the roof. It's time to go. Let's go, Carl. Let's go. Why you changed from Xbox to PC to play in a private lobbies? Uh, because I wanted to make this level 1 to level 100 series of streams and uh, on Xbox uh, there are just too many stream snipers chasing me and unfortunately there is no way to create a stable solo lobby on Xbox for me. Your poll says uh, you need to give us your outlaw passes. Arthur, stop moving camera. I don't know, Arthur is just moving camera. L like what? They just appeared out of nowhere. Okay, let's, let's hide. I've never picked up a bag from there in Blackwater. I usually just order supplies because, you know, you need to complete resupply missions only when you level up a trader role. Uh, because otherwise it's just a waste of time. Not worth it. Yeah, cat just simply moved my camera. Stop doing this. <laughs> That's why it was turned to the left. Caro UK, thank you for super emote, super sticker. It's a, it's basically a cat, apparently moving moving camera. What uh, level are you in Trader Roll? I'm level five. Level 5 already. Oh, wait. I, uh, I need to deliver the bag. Hello, cat, says Berko. Hello. Have you ever just hidden in a bush and waited for the law? I usually like... You just go... Usually it just works to go off the road and they just lose you. And yet they don't see you. Oops. Almost. Arthur the cinematographer. Yeah. And how much XP you get per sale? For resupply mission you get 500 experience. For sale on a second level, I, I don't remember how much you for let's check. Maybe we have more than yeah we we can we can deliver medium wagon let's let's check how much experience i will receive because last time i forgot to check let's make a distance delivery because like amount of, of experience that you get depends on not on amount of goods but on a wagon that you're using so let's say you have one good one uh, or 25 goods you will use small wagon if you have 26 to 50 you will use medium and from 50 to 100 you will uh, you will use big uh, large delivery wagon so anyway blue water marsh are you kidding me blue water marsh is like thousand miles away okay not the easiest delivery for sure for sure. But anyway, I, I just wanted to test how much experience I will receive. Uh, 
so troll is saying 1250 experience for full medium long distance I don't think it like it, it matters if it's full or just like a 26 goods Yeah, that's uh, all across the whole country. But let's go. Maybe I will. I will find some uh, random encounters on my way. Garaf says, it does not matter the size of the wagon. Yeah, yeah. It's like uh, on a few streams ago, I was testing if this leveling up trader method still works. You know, when you just place a camp in a gap tooth reach and just make sh small distance deliveries, like again and again, with one or two goods, and uh, it works. Yeah, you, you get 200 experience for a small wagon for local deli distance delivery and i think uh, 300 or 250 experience for long distance delivery best role after getting bounty hunter collector collector oops I killed that bird. But if your trader is rank 20, but you deliver 20 goods, you still drive the small wagon. Yeah, it's just, uh, it depends on how many goods you have, which wagon you will use. Okay, Cat is here again, and I'm, I, I think he's again will will attack the camera. Do not, do not. Okay. Maybe we we should use the bridge. Yeah, actually, I think it's a, it's a smart idea to use the bridge. Uh, here we go. There is a collectible, but I'm not gonna stop to collect it. I will. I want to make a delivery. Arthur wants to play Red Dead Online as well, apparently, or at least to eat some food. I should I should be careful because I don't want to fail off that bridge. Your cat is getting older and wiser. Yeah, not a kitten anymore. You're getting older and wiser. He is like, sleeping now, which is pretty wise thing to do. And there we go, there we go, there we go. Hello, cat says Nash. Nash when? Hello there. Nice. Sixty-nine percent votes for yes. So apparently people think that I should return all those low passes. Accused Ren says, I've done two local deliveries from Gap to uh, San Luis Shore to Scratching Post. A uh, lot when daily sweat two local deliveries. Yeah, there are like super fast deliveries in that location. Blessed Sun says, I never got wiser with age, just learned how to think better. Well, I would say that it is what a wiser person does. Learns how to think better. Mm. 
Maybe, yeah, maybe it's another conspiracy. Ooh, this de delivery is like not worth the money I will receive for it. But at least I will get some experience, which is nice, but like... But how are you going to return Outlaw Pass? That's a good question. Daniel says, Cat, I'm guessing you probably know this, but if you aim your weapon, the wagon auto steers. Yeah, I know, but uh, like it's boring. Now at least I do something, but if I will just aim weapon, especially since no enemies are attacking me, it will be like completely boring. Yeah. But yeah, autopilot works. You can use it if, like, if you need to go. Yeah. When I got bored again, he's moving. Wait, wait a second. He's moving camera again. Stop doing this. When I got bored and do long distance delivery, I remember that it takes forever and not worth it. It's actually true. That's why, you know, usually when I, like, grind on my uh, main, you know, on my characters, I don't even bother doing long distance delivery unless there are double payout. Because, like, the difference is not that important. Dude, it's just like, you waste too much money. Equestrian, thank you for super chat. Uh, thank you, cat. Always enjoy your streams. Glad you enjoyed them. Okay, this delivery. Both. <laughs> Arthur says, "I will move the camera until you feed me human." Yeah, he's just like, he's doing things to bring attention. He's pretty smart, and he knows that when he moves camera. Uh, or do, does some other stuff like uh, he's throwing documents that I have on my table. He just throws them away. In these uh, cases, I will, you know, I will just. It will be impossible for me to ignore him, so we'll have to do something. And by something, he means to go and feed him, right? Garaft says, long distance is not worth it un unless trader is double money. Yeah, that's exactly uh, what I said. Normal delivery is 5 minutes, long distance is 15. Yep, you, you spend like much more time to receive uh, how much? 20% more money? No, not, not 20, 25, 25% more money, but you spend like 3 times more on average. Cat is clearly wise and persistent. Definitely. Ooh. So true, says uh, Equestrian. Do local in public lobby and do in defensive mode. Yeah, I mean, it's just like, especially if you if you are in a, in a public lobby, long distance delivery is just not worth it. Like, uh, yeah, you will not lose any goods even if you will get attacked uh, just switch lobby you will be fine but you will lose a lot of time even if you will not if you will if you will get attacked you will have to switch lobby you will lose additional time you will have to start delivery uh for, again so a lot of time will be wasted but even if you will not get attacked you still just have to travel for much longer for a small extra payout I do long distance for experience, not for the money. It's important when you level up trader role. But after that... It doesn't... like experience doesn't... 
really matters when you already reached level 10 in a trader role because basically all you need is a big uh, large delivery wagon oh no 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 Oof. the old saying is still true time is money yep i agree okay so we delivered long distance is good if you have a killer posse i have well if you have a big uh, posse and you just deliver you know one delivery after another Oh, by the way, I forgot to uh, get this award for headshots with a bow. I think I forgot to reset it. Not the best, you know, distance to use sniper rifle. I don't see. I don't see him. Where are you? <laughs> big bossy energy time is money especially in red dead online everywhere everywhere it is oh nice oh okay actually i oh yeah you see one one thousand two hundred and fifty experience points so yeah doesn't matter if you have 26 goods or 50 you get the same amount of experience for medium delivery And there we go. Nice. I found the treasure map, by the way. Another one. Actually, I think I'll... Uh, yeah, I already have enough gold to purchase next roll, even without discount. Because I have 13 gold bars and I have few treasure maps. So I can easily get a like, few more gold bars and purchase collector without any discount and by the way since we oops wrong button since we're talking about the gold awards sharpshooter and resetting maybe i have some other to reset no not here maybe here and not here as well combat let's check combat not here okay so you see almost almost 14 gold bars anyway guys you've heard the cat he's pretty hungry he's pretty serious uh, so I guess I have to go and feed him and what it means it means that we will continue this level one to level 100 journey next week so with that being said i hope you enjoyed this stream thanks to everyone who placed a like see you next time stay safe stay healthy and goodbye see ya okay